Hello friends, I'm gonna show you three different ways of connecting Xbox controller to PC. The first is using the cable, and it's simple. The second is Bluetooth connection, which is more complicated and has some downsides. And the last, which is the best option, is using Microsoft Xbox adapter. I will explain how to connect your controller using all three methods on both Windows 10 and 11, and what is the difference between them. Also, I'll give you a little bit of information about what you can do after you connect your Xbox controller to PC, and I will leave timecode so you can go straight to the topic you are more interested in. So let's go! First of all, using a wire is simple. You just have to be sure that you are using the right one that can transfer data and not only power. It was a common problem with old Xbox One controllers that had micro USB port. So, you just plug in your controller and it's instantly recognized by your computer. You can hear or sound and Windows installs all needed drivers and you're ready to go. With this method, you can use your headphone jack on the controller and the microphone on your headphone set. No lagging and no problems in games. The second way is using Bluetooth connection, for which you may have built into your motherboard Bluetooth card, PCI Express card like this one, or USB dongle. And you better use dongles and cards that support Bluetooth 4.0 or higher for a stable connection, like these ones right here. And they work awesome, I will put links to them in the description. So, you turn on your controller by pressing down the Xbox logo, and then you hold down this pairing button until the Xbox logo starts flashing. On your computer, you should see the pop-up notification. Hit connect. After that, your Xbox logo becomes solid and you're done. If there is no notification, go to Bluetooth settings, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on and Xbox logo is flashing. Then in Windows 10, click on Add Bluetooth and Other Device. In Windows 11, click Add Device. And then it's similar for two systems. Go with the first option Bluetooth. Here in the list you can see your Xbox wireless controller, so choose it and that's it. With this method you cannot use your headphone jack and you may experience some problems with the connection. You also may have an input lag and sometimes even frame drops in games. I've never had this problem but I've heard some people have. Also, in theory, using Bluetooth connection won't allow you to connect up to 8 Xbox controllers at the same time. Microsoft says you will need a special adapter if you want to connect more than 4. However, using my Bluetooth 5.0 adapter, I managed to connect 3 Xbox controllers, 2 PS5 controllers and 1 Nintendo Pro controller at the same time. Now the last option, Microsoft Xbox adapter. It's easy, you plug in your adapter, tap the button on it and hold down this pairing button on your controller. It automatically connects and you have all controller features working. You can use your headphone jack and even microphone if your headphone set has it. With this adapter, you have a better connection and reduced latency. However, unlike a Bluetooth adapter, it only works with Xbox controllers. You won't be able to connect PlayStation or other controllers to it. Now, after you connected your controller to PC, you can update it. For that, you have to go to Microsoft Store on your PC, then search for Xbox Accessories. In this application, you can update and configure your controller. For example, my Xbox Elite controller may have several profiles that I can set up right here. Also, there is one feature that I like so much about Xbox Elite controller, and is that you can change the color of the Xbox logo. For that, you go to Steam and open it with the big picture mode. Then go to settings and then to controller settings and make sure to enable Xbox configuration support and Xbox extended feature support. After that, you go to your Xbox controller preferences where you can change the color of the logo, its brightness and saturation. That's it! My name is Max Dendy, I hope you enjoyed, see you in the next one!